here we have a tumor of the pineal gland. The pineal gland is a very small pea-sized gland that sits um, in this region. Here it's very much enlarged. This was a, a, uh, was a three-year-old boy who presented with hydrocephalus. So it basically came out tunded with a sixth nerve palsy. Um, you know, the sixth nerve is, is one that um, is preferentially more affected sometimes with increased pressure. So you can see a patient's eye, when it should be being pulled out, it's pulled more medial. This patient got an ETV, I'm sorry, got an EVD followed by this MRI. <clears throat> we sent off tumor markers. And this was, oops, sorry, this was concerning for um, a pineal lesion. We actually did a, a surgery coming in um, supertentorially through the part of the corpus callosum to resect this and got a good, good resection. The patient had uh, chemo radiation. This was, I'm sorry, just chemotherapy for pineoblastoma. So a mass that you may see in the pineal region. The differential here is, is quite broad. Uh, there are germinomas, teratomas, choriocarcinoma, um, embryonal yolk, yolk sac tumors, embryonal carcinoma. Um, but I didn't mention immature teratoma. So really the, the clinical workup here is to send off markers from the blood and ideally from the CSF for beta HCG and alpha fetal protein. Based on those, you may have an idea of what this is. If not, it could require um, biopsy. For some pineal tumors, um, to treat the hydrocephalus, you can do an ETV through a burr hole, and then either through the same burr hole or one more anteriorly positioned, you come with an endoscope and take a sample. In this case, the markers were positive such that a resection was, was indicated. I'm sorry, actually, in his case, we did an ETV, a biopsy, got markers, and then found that it was pineoblastoma based on the biopsy and then took for a resection. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.